I was broke in school one day. I needed money. The Holy Spirit led me. He said, go to the ATM. There is no money there. He said, stand in the queue. I stood. When he got to my town, he said, punch how much you need. That ATM paid for 500 Naira. So out of fear, how much did I punch? I think 3,000 or 1,500, I forgot it. It was so long ago. I punched it. And immediately I heard, Frrr! he paid me. I said, God, I would have punched more. Then I rushed again, punched 20,000. It didn't work this time. Guess what? I didn't receive debit or credit alert for that transaction till today. There were times I would be broke. Remember those things I'll tell you? I will see an alert from my name. It will be as though myself is sending myself money. You, 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 you witness this. I experienced it a lot when I was in Lagos, squatting. Jewel A. Ogebe, credit alert to Jewel A. Ogebe. My God, your angels are active. Unexplainable. Sometime before I begin to see these miracles, he will tell me, empty all that's in your account, dash people. I'm the one looking for money. He will tell you, stand up and begin to dance. A man who walks in the miraculous is not logical. He's obedient. He's not logical. He's not what logical. He's obedient. It's not logical. The Lord wanted to inspire my confidence when I was coming up. I would say, angels of God, I will feel this warm fire around me. Literally on my physical skin. So I remember one day I told my mom, I said, give me the yam pill. You know, it scratches you. These yams, they can scratch your skin if you put them on your skin. And I said, okay, let this same fire cover this my hand. Just I don't know whether you were at home that day. And I'll say, I, I took the yam, you know, the back of the yam, and I put it all over my body, all over this hand here. And I felt that warmth. Not one single scratch. This is a yam that if you touch a little, it's, a, it's miracles. It, it, it was serving as signs to me. You want to operate in the miraculous, look for instructions. There's no working on miracles without instructions. Because it's in the application of the instructions that the working for the miracle is found. Borrow vessel, not a few. Dig trenches. Don't put anything. Thus says the Lord, there will be no wind or rain, but it will be full of water. The miracle would not happen without the trenches being dug as instructed. Whenever you find divine instructions, a miracle is no longer far. Spiritual things are not random. There is an instruction that can cause you to break into wealth. You have not just found it. Oh, pray for my finances. Pray, pray what for your finances? There is a how to get into the city. Your instruction now may be, begin to go and sit down at that car stand for the next 13 days. Why? You don't know. The 11, the person others are running to office to look for, you will find that person sitting down there with you. Instructions are what brings miraculous breakthroughs. The man came to the prophet. I want healing from leprosy. The prophet didn't even come out to greet him. Tell that man to go and bath seven times. Dip himself seven times. One, two, and then he's going to receive his miracle. Instruction. Whenever you found miracles in scriptures, instructions were not far. This was why miracles easily qualified for signs. So you want to walk miracles, desire commandments from God. Instructions. I want a miracle in my finances. What are the instructions I must keep? God can speak to you through his prophet. He can speak to you through a vision. He can speak to you by spirit. He can move. There's one thing I always pray. You know, when I remember this, I always you know, pray to God. I say, God, help me to walk in your directions consciously and unconsciously. Even when I'm not conscious of your instruction, you have right to move me to the place of obedience. Let me just that day stand up and say, I want to go to the Barbie salon. If I cannot hear you tell me, go to the Barbie salon, move me to go there. As they we are moved of God. Move me. The Bible says Yeshua was led to the wilderness. If you understand this mystery, there are many miracles you won't pray for. You will say, Lord, we want this. What must we do? He say, okay, go and cut tree. Put here the axe. The axe head will come up. The word of the Lord is power. Because he said that if you do it, you will see the result. It is he that worketh in us. Not to will and to do. They say doing power. This is why without faith, it's impossible to please God. Because there are many things he will command you to do. For his glory that may not make sense. But in your rebellion would have hindered him from achieving that result that would have given, given him glory. 
So you want God to explain every instruction. Instructions are not explained. They are obeyed. Instructions are what are not explained. They are obeyed. To hack in is better than the fast of ram. You want to walk with God, be a man of faith. Get thee out of thy father's house, you obey. Go and destroy your father's idol, you do it. Where there's instruction, there's divine protection. Zeal does not replace instructions. Out of zeal, you go and destroy your father's idol. <laughs> Why are you instructed to do it? We desire so much to walk in miracles, but we've missed the ancient teachings about it. That's what the Lord sent me tonight to teach you. So that each and every one of us can now know how to pray and what to pray for. 